we just you know, we didn't make any adjustments. You know, I thought we were off his body a little bit. Uh, I thought Pat got into his body more. Um, and you know, when you're as aggressive as him, he's going to get a lot of shots, and that's fine. And that's that's what we said. Uh, don't overreact to anybody making shots. You know, get the ball, take it back out, and, and run. And I thought we did that. I didn't think we overreact to any great plays by them. We just kept playing. And four wins over playoff teams from a year ago. Yeah. How would you assess your team against these wins over these quality teams from a year ago? Um, just win. You know, um, that's that's where I don't look at it much. You know, um, we just got to keep winning, keep learning, keep growing. Um, and that's all we have to do. When you're up big in the fourth quarter and you got you know Ty and Jerome in the game, what are you hoping to see from them? Just get NBA minutes. You know, uh, Ty played a lot last year. Um, you know, every time we came out of a timeout, we ran something for Jerome uh, because I think he's really good off the ball. Um, I, you know, he came from a great system uh, at Boston College, and so we try to run some stuff that he he ran there for him to get him going so he can feel comfortable. I thought he, he, was, he looked very comfortable tonight. Hey, Coach, have you learned anything in this new season about your guards and how they control the pace of play for your team? I mean, it hasn't really come down to a crunch time. Yeah. You haven't experienced that, but I mean, I'm sure the 30-point yeah, lead. Yeah, they control very good. well. I mean, you know, we have a lot of guards. You know, we have um, <clears throat> the attackers and the aggressive guys and Avery and Pat. Uh, the cerebral players and, and Milos and Shea, you know, um, and, and Lou, you know, he's, he's the scorer. He comes in and scores for us. So we have a lot of guards that do a lot of different things, and we can show a lot of different looks. Um, and I like that coming into the game, that versatility. Okay. Hey, Coach, do you like to work uh, with particular this group because it seems like there's no egos, no agenda. They just enjoy playing together. Yeah, it's fun, fun group. You know, <clears throat> first thing Scotty said after the game, he's like, "Man, just, your guys just man, you're watching them. You can feel the energy. You can feel them. They just get along. Um, you know, it's it, you can see it visually. It's it's nice. So that's a lot of fun from a coaching standpoint too." And coach, you guys shot about fifty percent from the floor and from three. Can you talk yeah. about how tough you guys are going to be to be. Well, we, we, we can shoot fifty from the three the rest of the year. I'll right. sign one right now. <laughs> uh, you know that would be great. Um, but again, it's all coming from the ball movement. You know, you know there were so many plays where a guy could have shot the ball, but his shot was a good shot. He passed it to a great shot. It's just nice. You had a couple of these last year where you go on the road for a couple of games, come back for one game, and then go back on the road. Yeah. Is it? Harder for a team that's new like this, or is it better for team bonding wise? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't like that schedule. You know, we viewed this as a road game. You know, other than the crowd was cheering for us, but you you, you literally don't unpack. You know, um, you know it's it's a tough one. Um, you know, due to arena availability, we we get that every year, and it's hard. I mean, we were on the road, fly all the way back for one game, and now. In the morning, we're back for another week. You know, it, it's just hard. And, and basically, I told our guys, just view it. This we're still on the road. This is a long road trip. Coach, you had mm -hmm. nine players in double figure study. Yeah. Can you talk about that balance? Yeah, it's just again unselfishness. They don't care. You know, nobody's hunting points. You know, they're just they're hunting the open guy, and and that's a good way to play. That's the only way we can play. It's the only way we'll be good. You've been asking your guys to get more aggressive driving the hoop. I think 13 free throws a night, 30 some on the other night. Yeah. You, think you guys were aggressive? Or yeah, I did. I, I thought we were. Um, but, you know, a lot of the drives were kicked back out for threes. So we didn't get the fouls, but we got the threes, you know, so we'll take that. I mean, nothing. You guys just watch 48 minutes of basketball. You have nothing back there. Mind you, I see. Wake up. Come on. Come on. All right. Thank you. So, all four of your wins this year came against like notable Western Conference competitors, and you've got to support at least like 115 in each of those wins. Um, what would you say is the biggest key in that, and what do you want to see going forward? Well, I, I think our what we have to, even though we're scoring a lot of points, I think again, what we have to, you know, rely on every night is our defense, and defense will get you offense, and and so 
I think our guys believe that and understand that. And you know what's great about this team, I think they do understand that there's only one way we can play to win. We don't have the luxury of relying on one guy to win the game for us. So we have to play this way to win, and they've embraced it. All right, well, you, that's, that's it from you guys. Okay, <laughs> next time have more questions, all right? Good luck. Thank you. Take care, guys. Thanks, Coach.